you know, a guy I loved to watch on Sundays was J.J. Watt, you know, although he's not playing anymore. Um, it was just a, a guy I loved turning on um, the, the tape every Sunday, um, you know, and watching his game and trying to model myself after him. Yeah, you know, everything happens a little faster inside. You know, you got to be better with your hands, a little lower with your pad level. Um, and it taught me all the fundamentals of playing good defensive line. Um, you know, and I think that really translated to my outside play. Um, it helped me play with good leverage, um, be physical. Um, and uh, I attribute a lot of my play to playing, you know, my, my, uh, my years before and playing inside. 275, yes, sir. Yes. I am. Yes, I'll do everything. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I had two uh, older classmen in front of me, um, you know, and that's just kind of the way the you know, University of Iowa does things. Um, They're always fair and consistent with everybody, um, and regardless, you know, I still had some of the higher snaps on the defensive line, um, and I just learned through this process that every time I step on the field, I have an opportunity to prove myself. Yeah, I was happy um, with the rotation um, and the organization that we had. Um, I put full trust in Coach Parker and Coach Bell um, in putting us out there. And uh, again, like I mentioned, every time I stepped on the field, um, it was just another opportunity to go play the game I love and uh, just another opportunity to prove myself. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, I... Uh, at the University of Iowa, we played in like a really pro-style defense. Um, you know, they're really uh, based on fundamentals. Um, you know, playing the game the right way. Um, you have a responsibility and execute your responsibility. Um, and uh, you know, even when I came into the University of Iowa as a freshman, you know, I uh, I resonated with the program just because the, the foundation, the culture that they had. Um, you know, you come in, it's blue collar. You work hard. Nothing's given to you. Everything's earned. And those are a lot of qualities I'm going to bring with me to the next level. Yeah, well, uh, playing on our side of the conference in the Big Ten West, you know, we had a, a lot of run games. So you had to love the run, um, and it was one of the favorite parts of the game for me, you know, getting a line up from the, from the guy across from you, um, you know, coming out of your hips and blowing them up and setting the edge like you mentioned. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite parts of the game. He was, uh, yeah, he was before my time. Yeah, you know, everything happens a little bit faster outside. Um, you know, you also get a lot better vision, you know, standing out there, getting to, you know, check out what's going on with the backfield, the formations, um, you know, and just getting a better understanding of what's going to happen to me. And uh, I think it was really beneficial just to learn that aspect of the game um, and, uh, you know, communicate with my teammates to help everyone as much as possible. Um, you know, as different they are, they are really similar in the same aspects, um, but I was really able to utilize my toolbox and, uh, you know, excel in different parts of the game, you know, being outside. Most definitely, yes. I have not. Um, I might have them tomorrow. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I grew up a Bears fan, um, obviously being from Chicago area, um, and I'd be, you know, super excited to meet with them and see what they have to offer. I'll meet with them tomorrow. Mike Tomlin's a great coach. I have a lot of respect for Coach Tomlin, um, and I'm really looking forward to our meeting together. <laughs> yep. I owe uh, you know, a lot of credit to Coach Woods, our special teams coordinator at the University of Iowa. Um, you know, they really stress the importance of special teams and the, the impact it can make on the game. Um, you know, I loved being out, be able to help the team in you know, whatever way possible. And as you mentioned, I, uh, I, met, I blocked a couple punts, uh, blocked two during Iowa State. Um, and really, they just gave me the freedom to go you know, rush the punter, um, you know, stick my hands up, and try to you know, block as many punts as I could.
I'll meet with them tomorrow. Excuse me? Yeah, you know, that would uh, be an amazing opportunity. Um, and uh, if uh, Coach Belichick took the opportunity on me, um, you know, I'd really be you know, looking forward to a fun career. Yeah, um, you know, it was obviously a tough decision. I love the University of Iowa. Um, I had a really good connection with my teammates. Um, you know, that's just the culture and the foundation, as I mentioned before, that we have at that university. Um, we have a really tight-knit group. Um, our defense, you know, our, my brothers, some of the guys I'm going to play with for the rest of my life. Um, uh, so, you know, coming to the end of the season, um, I had a really tough decision to make, you know, with my family and my coaches. Um, and although I felt like it was the right decision, um, you know, I really, I still do miss my time at the University of Iowa. Yeah. Um, so obviously, uh, my girlfriend, her, her older brother is uh, Cole Komet, so the, the tight end on the Bears, um, which is obviously a, a cool connection. Um, you know, it would be, it'd be fun to play alongside him. Um, yeah, we, uh, you know, it was uh, my agent, you know, approached me, um, and we kind of found out the connection, uh, you know, later on, uh, which is, you know, pretty funny. Uh, but, uh, yeah, something we still joke about today. Yeah, there's a lot of really good competition in the Big Ten. Um, I think that's what you know prepared me so well to play at the next level. Um, you know, there's a lot of really good guys like you know, I went against. Um, you know, every year we had to go against Northwestern. I played guys like Peter Skaronski. Um, You know, I played Peter growing up as well. Played him in high school. Um, we, we trained together at the same facility, so I know Peter really well. But I think playing against a high caliber player, um, you know, it challenges me, but it also prepares me to play against you know really high um, talented guys at the next level. <laughs> I don't show it, but it, it circulates around a little bit. Justin's a great kid. Um, you know, obviously we missed him, you know, at Iowa last year being hurt, and he, you know, transferred to Oregon. Um, but I'm really excited for him. He's a great player, and he's going to do great things at, uh, at Oregon. Yeah, I met with the Falcons yesterday. Um, you know, they have a great coaching staff. Um, we had a really good interview. I enjoyed every moment of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, they have a super interesting defense. I think it would be a really fun scheme to play in. Um, and, obviously, if, uh, you know, I get the opportunity to play in that franchise, I'd, you know, really be looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, you know, CJ's a great kid. Um, I've uh, had limited conversation with him. We're in the same agency, um, so, you know, I've had a little bit back and forth conversation with him, although I trained out in Los Angeles, and I was in the north location. He was down in Orange County, um, so we didn't get to see each other too much, but he's got a lot of potential. Um, I think he's a super talented quarterback, and, you know, coming into that Ohio State game, we knew we had a challenge up for us, um, but I'm really excited to see what he can do at this next level. Yeah. Um, I'm the first one in my family that's had the you know, opportunity to play at the next level in college, but also you know, get this far. And uh, we're all just having a lot of fun with it. Um, obviously, my parents are super proud of me, um, and I'm just really happy to be here. Uh, you know, Jack Campbell is a, you know, a great leader on our defense. He was a guy when I came in as a freshman, he took me under his wing um, and, you know, showed me the ropes. Um, he's a guy that's super humble. He works hard. Um, you know, small town Iowa kid, just, you know, your ideal Iowa Hawkeye. And, uh, you know, we walk around together. A lot of people tend to mix us up. I think uh, we look kind of similar, you know. Um, but, again, it's a really hard worker, really great kid, and he's going to make a great fit um, out of whatever team takes a chance on him. Um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll stick with some of the guys that I trained with. Um, I was with Ohio State, Zach Harrison, um, and Georgia, Nolan Smith. Um, you know, both very good edge guys, very talented prospects. Um, and, uh, you know, I think uh, they have a lot of potential and they're great players. And they're, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see what they put out tomorrow and Friday. I, uh, I have not spoke with them. I talked to the Steelers tomorrow um, in a formal interview. But, you know, of course, you got to watch TJ, TJ Watt. That's the guy that everybody watches. Um, for me, um, I was more of a JJ Watt player. Um, obviously, he's retired now, but that's, you know, who I turned on on Sundays and love to watch.
Um, yes, I interviewed them with them already. It was great. Um, you know, uh, I spent some time, you know, obviously being right there near Wisconsin. Um, you know, obviously I was a Bears fan growing up, but, um, you know, would go back and forth, met a, a bunch of guys, uh, you know, over from Wisconsin um, and uh, the cheese heads, right? Um, but, you know, it would be, it'd be great to play in Lambeau. Um, I think they have a great established program there. Um, and uh, our interview was great, so. I think it's just my versatility, um, you know, being able to play all over the defensive line. Um, it's also just the mentality I have. As some of you guys mentioned, um, I've never started a game in Iowa, so I'm looking forward to getting that, that first start at the next level. So coming in with a chip on my shoulder, I'm just ready to put my nose down and work. Every time we had a, a game against Northwestern, you know, his name was circled. Uh, we always had a good competition against each other. Um, you know, he's a great player, um, and uh, I knew every week I had to be ready when we played him. Yep. You know, I played defensive tackle primarily uh, the year before, so, um, you know, I really didn't do much preparation for playing outside that game. Um, you know, they bumped me outside, and uh, as you guys saw the result, I mean, uh, when I can't get around someone, I'm going to go through them. Yeah, so I, uh, I started, I grew up playing hockey. I played all the way to my senior year. Um, we actually had a pretty good team, made it to the Final Four in state, but couldn't play due to COVID. Uh, we would have played in, you know, um, the Blackhawks arena. But uh, I think I attest hockey to a lot of my skills and my balance that I have today. Um, you know, hockey requires a lot of agility. Um, it's a hard sport to play. It's very physical. It's very demanding. Um, and a lot of those attributes um, contribute to the player I am today on the football field. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, that was a sad day. I'm a Kander fan. Um, I grew up watching them going through their uh, their Stanley Cup days, um, and obviously was a huge fan. But sad to see them go. Um, I love the golf, although you know I'm not the best golfer. Um, I think some of my hockey skills translate over a little bit. Um, but you know, I also love to fish. Just you know, love being outside. Love the outdoors. Um, that came uh, in an interview about a year ago with one of my uh, defensive tackles, Noah Shannon. Uh, you know, he kind of mentioned the name in an interview and it stuck. Um, and since then, you know, I, I like to pride myself in the weight room. It's something I'd always love to do is improve your body and work hard. Um, and it's kind of a name that stuck. And it's, you know, it's been fun. We joke around with it. And uh, I'm assuming it will stick for a while to go. Um, I think more outside, just a, a mix of both. I was a defender. I was. Uh, you know, we couldn't fight without getting kicked out, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> a few times. Um, you know, I think uh, it's probably not good to say, but in the last two years, I think I led the league in penalties <laughs> just due to my size, um, unfortunately, which was just kind of part of the game. I was there's really not that many big kids that that play hockey, so um, just due to my my size and my weight, um, I was able to uh, you know sustain a lot of penalties that, in my eyes, I don't think were fair. <laughs> Thank you, guys.